This is question 8, paper 2, from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Mathematics. We're given a set of data, six values. We're asked to work out the mean and the standard deviation of this data set. They tell us the number of sprouts in six bags produced by a machine. So let's look at the formula that appears in your formula sheet. There's two versions for the standard deviation. This first one involves the letter X, which is just a data value. So X stands for these values here, the 23, 19, 21, 20, 19, and 24. X bar stands for the mean of these values. And we would therefore add them up. Sigma means add them all up. So sigma x stands for the total of this. And divide by the number of data values there are, which in this case is 6. So n number of values is 6. So... All these letters we've got a meaning for. Let's now go back to these data values and start doing calculations. We'll do this in a table form. So our first column will consist of these data values. And remember there are six of them. Now, to work out the mean, we would need, first of all, to add them up. So we need the total of all these data values. We've got 23, 42, 63, 83, 102, 126. And the mean is just that total, the total of these data values divided by the number of the total values, which is 6 in this case. So well, let's just put n there, because that's the formula for the mean. But in this case, it's 6. Now, 6 into 126 is 21. So we know that the mean is, is sorry, 21. Total is 126. Divide by 6, you get 21. So the mean value is 21. So going back to this formula, we've now got to find the deviations from the mean, square them, and then add these up. So another column goes in, which, are, which is called the deviations from the mean, how far away from this mean value of 21 are each of these data points. And we get this by taking the data value 23 and subtracting the mean value 21. So 23 minus 21 is 2. 19 minus 21 is negative 2. 21 minus 21 is 0. 20 minus 21 is minus 1. 19 minus 21 is negative 2. 24 minus 21 is 3. We now need the squares of these deviations from the mean. 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Remember, squared numbers are always 0 or positive. We never get a negative number appearing in this column. 0 squared is 0. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. So we now need the total of these devi squared deviations from the mean. So 4 and 4 is 8, 9, 13, 22. The formula tells us now to take the sum of these squared deviations from the mean and divide by 1 less than n, 1 less than 6. So and then take the square root and we'll have s. So let's do this final s calculation, s being the standard deviation. 
So it's the square root of the sum of the square deviations, which we worked out was 22, divided by 5, one less than the number of data points that we've got. So it's the square root of 22 over 5. Let's look at a calculator to do this. 22 divided by 5 is equal to 4.4. So we now need the square root of 4.4. So square root of that answer is 2.097 and so on. Put that calculator away. So the standard deviation is 2.1. The two significant figures. I have to see what we're doing when we vandalise a number like that. The so standard deviation approximately 2.1. So let's now look at the second part of the question. We have another machine producing bags of sprouts. This time there's a mean of 19 and a standard deviation of 2.3. And we're asked to write down two valid comparisons between the samples. So the first valid comparison will use the means to do that. Second, we'll use the standard deviations to do that. So this is part B, and the new machine on average produces 19 sprouts per bag. The previous machine, as we found out, produced 21. So machine B, on average, produces less sprouts per bag you could put 19 uh, than machine A and we can state that that's 21 so there's a valid comparison between the two machines using the statistics that we've calculated, the two means, the 19 and the 21. So there's our first statement. So let's now look at a statement for the standard deviations. What can we deduce about these two machines using the standard deviations? This new machine has a greater standard deviation, 2.3, than our first machine, 2.1. The greater the standard deviation, the more variation the values of the data have about the mean. So less consistency in production numbers, we could say. Machine B has a greater standard deviation than machine Machine B has a greater standard deviation than machine A. Uh, 2.3 compared to 2.1. So that's the basis of this statement, using the statistics that have been calculated. So is less consistent in the numbers it produces per bag. 